My name is Shirazi Ghosh, I am a social activist. Uh, if not for Iran, there wouldn't have been a Palestine left. It's because of Iran now that we see the present Palestine at least existing. And we should be grateful to the government of Iran. They are the breaking point of Arabs. At least, wake up. This is the time. We have seen Arabs invest billions of dollars in buying armory, weaponry, aircraft from France, Italy, I'm sorry, France, UK, USA, or what? At least test them on the Zionists. Zionists test their weaponry and equipment on the innocent Palestinians, the true protectors of Bible Mukaddas at present. Why are they buying arms for? Whether they are buying the genuine arms or they are buying only the iron pieces, metal pieces. We have to be very concerned about it. I am not going to take long, I am not going to give a lecture. I am saying it. Same thing I have told about Kashmir also. That we, if not for Pakistan, there wouldn't have been in Kashmir. It is, it is very sad that in 1992, after the severe Sri Lanka severe under the president Rana Singh Premadasa, all ties with Israel. And again, we have invited the ghost in the form of Israel. It's a rogue nation. I don't know, Mozart will leave me or they will uh, kill me or they will assassinate me. I don't know. We have seen the bombings of Hotel Devi, Devi Hotel. If you all remember, in 1941, between 1941 to 1948, there have been 251 attacks by Jews, the Zionist terrorist attacks. Nobody told them that they are terrorist attacks. But I can remember one terrorist suspect who has been Benin. He was named prime suspect and he became the prime minister of Israel. What a joke. And he won the Nobel Peace Prize. Now tell me where are we, where the world is heading? Why Arabs are sleeping? It is not only that you give kafan material to the Palestinians, Shahid Palestinian. Shahid don't need kafan. They don't need kafan. Shahids don't need kafan. They are buried as it is. And they will inshallah wake up on the day of judgment as it is. But must know that. Where are we waking? When are we going to wake up? It's not the duty of the non Arabs. It is the duty of the collective Muslims to protect. Where Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam have gone Mirad from where? On Burak. And by this, there are many prophets buried. And they have showing a picture of different Baitul Muqaddis and true Baitul Muqaddis is on a different time. They show a different dome. People don't know that. And as Sri Lankans, it is, I thank the Iranian government, Iranian people, and our His Excellency Ali, <coughs> the Ambassador of Iran in Sri Lanka, and cultural head, Dr. Mazimi, the cultural head of Iran, for giving me this opportunity. Of course, the Defense Secretary, the Trade Secretary, Deputy, everybody is here. But it make sure that these voices reach the people. I am very fluent in all three languages, whatever the media has to say or ask any questions. I will be able to read the on that, inshallah. And on the Friday, coming Friday, that is 17th of November 2023, at Kampani of Islam Island, Bekhanda Juma Masjid, there is going to be an exhibition about this to highlight the atrocities done by the Zionists. It is like I have seen the American uh, a diplomat, I think from White House, if I am not mistaken, or a senator or whoever it is. He is saying that a lot of Israeli children were killed. Excuse me, have you seen for 75 years Palestinians are getting killed? Palestinian women are getting tortured, harassed. I don't want to use any other word. You are worried about that, where is your humanity? 
Why United Nation is sleeping? Is unprecedented nations organization or what? Or unreliable nations organization? People rely on you. It's not that you give food, you give shelter. No. It's give the you give the rights of the Palestinian, which is due for that. And it is very sad. I am unable to sleep at night. Why? They people are suffering here. We are celebrating here, Alhamdulillah. But what about the people who are suffering? Under the rubble, the people are there. His Excellency just told that there are 2,700 children missing. They are under the rubble. 6,000 more children killed. And they are human beings. They are worried about I am not trying to defend Hamas. If somebody comes and gets into my house, I will rebel. And if I am called a terrorist, I don't mind it. It is our right to protect ourselves, our country, our religion on the base of humanity.